jetty. So basically what it means by North Jetty is that we're obviously on the north side of the um, of the opening gap for Humboldt Bay. And uh, I think the Army Corps of Engineers uh, built this uh, fine place and uh, make obviously easier access into Humboldt Bay. And um, yeah, we're gonna go through uh, uh, to the very end of it. On the jetty itself, and you can tell here, a little detail here, yes, there was um, uh, a railroad. Uh, I don't know how these guys did it, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be a really intense uh, construction, uh, especially on the, on, the, on the mighty Pacific Ocean itself. I mean, that is one hell of a task. And uh, obviously, yeah, this this place has been uh, not been repaired in uh, some time. I mean, like decades. So, you know, when we get through it, it's gonna be fun. And you know, it's personally one of my favorite places in Humboldt County, in general, um, because it's it's like you see Mother Nature destroying man's creation, and it's uh, done quite nice. Yeah, it's, it's quite awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, over there, that's the South Jetty over there. And here's the gap, and then in there, the bay, that's like Fields Landing over there. And yes, people can fish off of here, you know, and all that fun stuff. And you gotta watch out for waves too. So, I'm being uh, cautious, of course, you know. And, uh, yeah, having, having fun with it. <laughs> all right. Whew. Let's see, see, erosion, the real deal. <laughs> Rain so much. So the reason why I bring up the video again, or you know, doing it right now, you hear that? Should. Okay, so you hear those horns? Those are uh, helping out the ships so they can figure out, you know, be uh, uh, find an opening uh, through the gap to get in Humboldt Bay, namely, you know, Eureka or Ikeda or Fields Landing or whatever, you know, without uh, hitting, uh, you know, getting beach sided or I should just say beached. And yes, we, there is remnants of ships or ship parts over there. And I'll show you to you in a little bit, uh, you know, a boiler and all that fun stuff. Like, you know, ships used to get uh, beached quite a bit here because of the fog, obviously, like it's already recast. Well, not fog, but, it's just, it was just hard to pinpoint, and that's another reason why they, they built this, so they make it uh, more easy to get through the jaws. <laughs> There's more people fishing. And you we out here. <laughs> Looks like there's a call box, and that's awesome. And by the way, over here is uh, all the dunes. This is where the ATVs and uh, four wheelers and all that kind of stuff, uh, even big trucks, go through here to go through the dunes and have fun. Uh, I don't know what ship it belonged to, but it's uh, been here for quite a long while. The big boiler for that matter, good lord. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know what ship uh, obviously lost this boiler. And I'll show you the pipe, which is across the way from here. Anyways, yeah, it's uh, been chewed up by obviously the salt, you know, a lot of rust. Yeah, I would love to see if someone would like to dig this up. That would be really cool. Alright, and here's the, I believe that's a pipe of some sort. By the way, there's the signal maker. <laughs> here, let's go over here and check this out. Yeah, I don't know what ship or ships uh, crashed into here. But, uh, yeah, here's the pipe. And of course people, you know, doing their thing. Nice Yoda. Pretty cool. And then uh, down here is all Samoa Beach. About good, oh, I wanna say 30 miles of beach. You know, very private. All right, we're gonna walk on that. The jetty itself. And uh, obviously people are heading in through the waves. Nice open sea air, winding, winding across my face. You know, uh, that's the reason why I love living in Eureka. I mean, 
Shit, I'm only honestly like 10 minutes away from here. And it's, it's great. People always ask me, you know, for vacation, you know, like shit, just live here. I see their surfers doing their thing. That's pretty cool. Over there, catch some waves. Yeah, so even railroad ties. I mean, hell, there's some spikes right there. So there's proof that uh, a railroad literally uh, went all around here. Again, more people fishing, doing their thing. Now. Maybe a little. It looks like a whole different, you know, state. It's just, it's just great. There, there we go. There we go, nice. Not bad, not bad. No. Oh, oh. Nice. All right, back to this guy. All right, he's still going. That's pretty sick. Good surfing, good surfing indeed. Oh, there you go. See, I'm wearing a tank top. I mean, it's a little windy. I mean, for me, I've been basically born and raised here, um, so I'm used to this kind of weather. It doesn't even phase me really. All right, we're going ahead to the end now. It's a lot of fun watching the surfers, but you know, life goes on. The show must go on. So here we go. I guess not. I'm gonna take a landing pad. That's probably up there for sure. But here, these were called uh, breakers, and uh, designed to take down, you know, the force on the structure itself. These are the, they look like jacks. These really huge, oversized jacks. I think they're, they're came from uh, San Francisco, or they made in San Francisco, and then shipped them up here. Yeah, I see some guys, you know, climb all over it and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, you know, pretty cool. You get on the other side, get to the jaw side. Things. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, yeah, there's more right here. There's one on top of this. Hey, see right there? That's the Pacific Ocean. And this is the jaws. And uh, here, here's a fisherman being crazy. <laughs> and then the bay. And then over the hills over there, if you see it with that water tower, way off to the distance, that's a uh, Eureka. And then over there, some uh, And of course, more ocean. It's wonderful today. And there's a tower. Oh, well, uh, go to, to the edge of the jetty. To a, a bigger pad. I think this is probably, I don't know. So we're rotating the engine or the cars, you know, easily. Or just going back. So this is how far, you know, not too bad. And uh, there's some pretty cool artwork. Some graffiti guy doing some stuff. Pretty interesting. All right, let's go up to the main end of the platform. And that's the South Jetty. I'll make another video of that, go into that. That's another time. And look at buoy. There's some guys just like, you know, throw our stuff on it. 
I would love to make a video, music video here. It'd be pretty freaking sick. Yeah, because it just looks like a whole different planet. You know, I would never. I have never seen anything like this. You know, for a music video, it'd be pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, it's really peaceful, just, just wonderful. Yeah, got some little action over here. Woohoo! Oh, it's kind of awfully close. Ugh. You hear it? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I could walk on this, but I'm not that daring. I know better. <laughs> Ember, face flare. So. <laughs> oh, it's really wonderful. One of the most favorite places uh, in the county. Obviously, you know, it's like I said, man made versus uh, Mother Nature. And man, I mean, look at the, look at the curvature of the, of, of the J itself. I mean, you can tell it's, this place has been banged up for decades on. It's it's, uh, it's one hell of a an accomplishment of of man in general, and uh, something I really enjoy. Uh, the activities here are obviously endless: fishing, um, surfing, as we just saw, uh, people hanging out, hiking, uh, four by fouring. Obviously, you know you can see all right there. It's, it's beautiful. You know, obviously you go on the boat, do that. You know, and people just being people. You know, it's, it's quite beautiful out here. So, uh, yeah. By the way, thanks for uh, watching my video. Uh, this is Kami Bates. Uh, like and subscribe. Got any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, you know, and I'll uh, put a link in the description for my Twitter account. And I'll put some pictures up there. Anyways, thank you for watching. And you have a great day. Peace.